today when we celebrate our century of service. Again, I want to thank you for celebrating with all of us, and I would like to introduce Mary Ann Sears, the director of the Harris County Law Library, who will talk about the law library of today. Thanks, Joe, for that wonderful summation of the history of the law library. Well, it's easy to see plenty has changed over the course of 100 years. We've gone from concerning ourselves about whether we'll use gas or electricity to light the law library to figuring out how we'll provide free Wi-Fi connections in the law library for all of our patrons. We've graduated from Walt terminals connected to handheld dial-up modems in order to access West Publishing's expanse of legal information to the Westlaw Next platform that runs at lightning speed through a global system of interconnected computer networks on what we know as the Internet. And we've gone from providing resources and services to only dues-paying members of the Law Library Association to opening our doors to anyone and everyone who needs access to legal information. Some things haven't changed, though, even after 100 years. We still have lots and lots of books. More than a mile and a half of linear shelf space, in fact. More than 30,000 volumes, all valuable, most still relevant, some found nowhere else in the city or county, and perhaps even in the state. But the most important thing that hasn't changed in the last hundred years is the human element. The law library staff's commitment to provide excellent and accurate service to every patron who walks through those doors. It's that passion for public service that breathes life into this place. And every member of the law library staff has that passion. In my opinion, the citizens of Harris County are one lucky bunch of people. I know for a fact that I'm the luckiest law, law library director in the county. So thank you, Harris County Law Library staff. You know who you are. Very quickly, then, what's new and cool about the Harris County Law Library today? Well, for starters, we've got 25 public access computers available with access to the latest and greatest legal research databases. We've got robust content contracts with Westlaw Next and Lexis Advance. We've got access to IRA's Checkpoint, which is a tax research database. We've got O'Connor's online, Hine online, and State Bar Practice Manuals online. And we've got internet access and Microsoft Word and Excel too. And all of it is free to our patrons. And speaking of patrons, since our move to this lovely and more accessible space in January of 2013, we have more than doubled, nearly tripled, the number of visitors who walk through our doors as compared with those who visited us on the 17th floor. A full 85% of the people we serve are self-represented, pro se patrons. We're definitely living up to our motto of promoting open and equal access to justice for all. And we have great partners in service too, like Service Docs, a, a full service copy and reprographic center located right here within the law library. Bob Snyder and his friendly staff offer copies to our patrons for a whopping 10 cents a page, and also offer fax, e-filing, and notary <coughs> service, among others. Bob and his wife, Nicole, also own and operate Gallows Cafe in the lobby of the law library. So our patrons and the public can grab breakfast, lunch, or a snack while they're visiting with us. And if they get tired of studying the law, they can take a break by browsing through our collection of materials from the Harris County Public Library, available to them in the shelves to my left. We are truly trying to make the Harris County Law Library a destination for people who live and work downtown and for, for all of the citizens of Harris County. And I think we're succeeding. But I think our greatest partnership is the one we're continuing to develop with the Houston Volunteer Lawyers. Through the foresight and vision of Vince Ryan and the County Attorney's Office, 
we've been able to set aside office space for HVL volunteers and student volunteers from South Texas College of Law in the conference center under construction immediately below us. And the conference center itself has already been reserved for the HVA's inaugural assisted pro se family law clinic to be held on Friday, October 30th during National Pro Bono Week. Stuart Gagnon of Norton Rose Fulbright, a, two, a true champion of access to justice and the law library, was instrumental in organizing the clinic, along with Alyssa Gomez and Bobby Cochran of HVL, Kay Sim and Tara Shockley of the HBA, and Kathy Burnett and Wanda Morrow of South Texas. All of these people and so many others, including our next speaker, are helping so many underrepresented individuals get the help they need. The Harris County Law Library is happy to play a role in that, and we thank all of you for your support. Thank you very much.